Hey guys, we're here with Steve Nash, two-time MVP and a great career in the NBA. How you doing, Steve? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. So, you know, today we're here at the golf tournament. Who do you think your biggest competition will be? In the golf tournament? In the golf tournament. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that in a negative way. If I uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully I don't fight myself too hard out there and, okay. uh, and make it around without uh, slowing the whole thing down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you play golf a lot? I don't. I played a little bit as a kid, so I can kind of handle myself, but uh, I almost never play anymore. Okay. So today's a little treat for myself, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I wanted to know, you know, being a basketball player here at Santa Clara is I know you've gotten a chance to play in the NBA and have a great career. What is the biggest reward and the biggest sacrifice in playing in the NBA? I think the biggest reward really is to play against the best players in the world, you know, every night. That's that's kind of a privilege, to be to be honest. Um, and, and the biggest sacrifice is sacrifice itself. You know, you're constantly having to sacrifice to perform and, and to, to have longevity or to be able to do the things that you want to do or reach your goals or whatever it may be or play to a certain standard every night. So in order to do that, you have to sacrifice in your preparation, you have to sacrifice in the actual mm -hmm. games themselves, and you have to sacrifice as far as your recovery and being able to, to come back and do it again over a, a course of a season. Uh, uh, to find that consistency that allows you to have a long career. And if you had to choose one player that you enjoyed playing with the most uh, during your time in the NBA, who would that be? Well, I, I got to play with some great players. Mm -hmm. you, know, I, you know, I got to play with uh, Jason Kidd, Dirk Nowitzki, Michael Finley, mm -hmm. uh, Mari Stoudemire. Um, you know, the, it's just some great guys as well. I learned a lot from them. You know, guys, some of the two guys that were amazing to play with because they were so bright were uh, Danny Manning and Boris Diaw, just mm -hmm. great passers, big guys who could put the ball on the floor, make plays, and could read the game. Mm -hmm. So I was lucky. I played with a lot of great guys and, and terrific players. And I guess when you play as long as I did, you got, <laughs> I got a chance to have a lot of teammates. Mm -hmm. Terrific, terrific. Yeah, I know I enjoyed watching you play with the Phoenix Suns and, and that run you guys had, so that was awesome. Thank you for uh, taking some time out of your day to talk with us. I appreciate it. You got it, man. It was yep. a pleasure. Good luck today. <laughs> I'm not worried about any of those guys. They can't hang with me. They you know? can't hang no, with you? No, they can't hang with me, so it's just about my team. <laughs> All right, and uh, you're a pretty competitive guy, you know, just just a little bit. Uh, do you think anyone is going to match your competitiveness today? I come from Chicago, so I'm a big Cubs fan, and I know you had the chance to play for the Cubs and the Cardinals, and we don't like the Cardinals. So <laughs> I was just wondering if you had to choose which team you like being on more, which team would that be? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, I would choose Chicago because of the city, but I would choose St. Louis because of the winning.